fly. I'll have a mutant fly. Hello, Yar. You'll need some protection. Ion zone. Uh-uh. Shift chroma. Intensify. Okay. Now you need some weapons. You have a formidable enemy. The Kotile. Watch it, Yar. He has a lethal drone and some other tricks up his sleeve. Spiral. Go. Oh, good move, Yar. Now, I have a surprise for you. A Zorlon cannon. Use it, Yar. Fire again. Got him. <laughs> That's revenge. Yar's revenge. Man has not always lived among the stars. There was a time, many centuries ago, when the race called humans lived only on one small blue planet. It is there, on the planet they call Earth, that our story begins. In the closing years of the 20th century, mankind began its greatest adventure, the exploration and eventual colonization of space. The development of fusion energy, which converts any matter into energy, allowed humans, for the first time, to venture out into the uncharted depths of space. The gigantic ship, which carried the brave astronauts along, was loaded with supplies for the long trip to the stars. The space officials knew that the crew would need plenty of food and water if they were to survive their long and dangerous mission. What the officials did not know, however, was that there were stowaways on board. Not that they especially wanted to be there. They had drifted in through the airlock and sat perched on the walls and instrument panels, gazing out at the flashing lights through multifaceted eyes. Their thin but powerful wings were folded back against their iridescent blue bodies, much as yours are now, my young friends. For you see, the stowaways were common house flies, still found on the planet Earth. We owe these small creatures a great debt, for it is from these first small space travelers that we have all descended. They are our ancestors. This, fellow Yar warriors, is the great secret of our sacred past. Once the ship was sealed, the flies were trapped inside. Soon, the countdown was underway. The computers handled the final moments, and soon the fusion generators were glowing white hot. With a graceful spiraling motion, the great ship roared up and away from the launch pad. It raced at ever-increasing speed through the Earth's atmosphere and into the inky blackness of deep space. The astronauts and the flies were on their way to the stars. The first few days of the trip passed smoothly. Then suddenly, without warning, a strange formation appeared in the ship's path. The huge ship hurled headlong into the glowing force field and was rocked by a series of gigantic explosions. The spaceship was knocked off course and careened helplessly through space. Soon it crashed with a massive explosion. Right here in our own Razak solar system. Sadly, the entire crew was lost in the crash. But there were survivors. The flies. Days later, when the cloud of radioactive dust finally settled, the flies emerged from the charred rubble of the spacecraft. They stretched their wings and felt a surge of strange new power. Through some miracle of genetic fusion, they had been transformed from lowly houseflies 
into amazing new creatures, forever to be known as Yars. All that was left was the radioactive cloud, now known as the Neutral Zone. This brutal attack changed forever the nature and course of Yar civilization. Every fiber of our being cried out for revenge. This is true revenge. This is Yar's revenge. The rest, brave warriors, is up to you.